a familiar sight and sound to Rochdalians, the town hall clock. Let's take a closer look at the workings behind. A daily trek, Christmas Day and bank holidays included by custodians like Mr. J. Briley here was made up the steps. It took an hour to walk up the 157 steps, wind the clock and return back down again. Sunday the 19th of January 1964 was the last time this would be necessary as conversion of the clock to electrical operation was to start the following day. Members of the Rochdale Cine Society filmed a procedure that had been carried out daily for the previous 88 years. The last winding of the town hall clock. The delicate conversion was carried out by Messrs. William Potts and Sons Limited of Leeds, the company who originally installed the clock in 1887, when the present tower was built after fire destroyed the old one. The present tower stands at 190 feet, 50 feet lower than the former structure. Finally made it. The one ton weight that operates the timepiece took approximately 500 turns of the winder to raise it 75 feet up the tower. The existing weights of the actual timepiece were to be retained. The heavier weights, which had previously to be wound daily for the strike and the chime, were to be dispensed with, and electric motors now provide the drive for these. This giant pendulum with a 15-foot long bar and a three and a half hundred weight bob on the end ticks every two seconds. To adjust the time, little lead weights are added to speed the clock up and removed to slow it down. The correct time of the town hall clock on the quarter is the first striking of the quarter on the last stroke. Ding, dong, ding, dong. And on the hour you hear the full quarter, then the first dong is the correct time. clock is the original clock put in the tower in 1887 and it was said didn't show any signs of wear at all. 